The World Bank says that weak institutions lead to corruption. Speaking at the public procurement conference in Johannesburg, the World Bank has called for better values and a culture of corporate governance. Corruption in the public sector remains a huge barrier to sustainable development in Africa. A high-level public procurement forum seeking solutions to curb corruption, amongst other things. It's hosted jointly by the African Development Bank and the World Bank. The World Bank supports almost 200 countries on projects and programs of development. It says economic growth is dependent on a country's core values. I think fundamentally it boils down to values and culture and behavior. Okay? You can put in any amount of systems in place, uh, institutions in place, but the problem is if institutions don't function properly, if institutions are flawed and corrupt, and not only flawed and corrupt, but lethargic, uh, they don't move on some programs and, 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 and projects for the benefit of the public, nothing will move. The African Development Bank has also weighed in. If there are systems and institutions that are strong, if, which means that the, the solutions, if they are not personality driven, but are driven by strong institutions and systems. That is what is going to achieve long-term stability in terms of economy, in terms of decision-making, in terms of the confidence of the rest of the world in that particular country. After nearly two decades of civil war, Liberia was able to bring about political stability by implementing procurement reforms. Malawi, on the other hand, says resources should be distributed equally among the continent's citizens. And it was realized that one of the key contributing factors to the civil war was the inequitable distribution of our country's resources through the improper allocation of contracts you know, and the unfair you know, uh, provision of special uh, preferences to individuals who had contacts. Because of that, you know, economic wealth was actually skewed to only a few people. As long as all the political players put their differences aside and, as I said, they should put in mind the local citizen. All is not lost and the situation is not beyond repair. I assure you, if only South Africans, Malawians, Africans remember that first and foremost we are one, we are one people. All these politics, all these boundaries, all these, you know, factions are man-made. The conference is expected to end on Friday. Ndundu Sitole, SABC News, Johannesburg.